With any client or student that I work with, the goal is I want for them to live a life they love and a body they're proud of. It's starting with the fitness. Fitness is the foundation, so once I feel strong and confident in my body and in my health, I will see that ripple out to other areas of my life and to the community around me. It's about being your best self. I often say that I have the best job in the world because I help people kick ass at life. That's what this is all about. Empowered is all about, we say, work hard, dream big, give back, and live empowered. So fitness is the foundation, the physical self. That's how you greet the world. So when that is stronger and you feel more confident in your body, that will ripple out to all areas of your life. So guys, we're gonna take you through a full body, five minute workout. Each movement will be for 30 seconds and we're gonna give you both a level one and a level two. So you can choose whichever movement feels best. So this is Nikki and she's gonna be demoing all our moves for you. Let's get started. We are beginning with a squat. So basic squat position. She's sitting back into her heels, standing up nice and tall. I'm gonna join you because this can also serve as a warm up. So the chest stays lifted, pressing out on the knees. Very good. If you wanna make this a little bit harder, you can add the squat jump, good. So this would be our level two for this movement. So it's the same movement, right? She's just jumping a little bit higher off the ground, adding a little more power to it, good. We have five more seconds, sitting back, jumping high, excellent. In three, two, one, and time, good. Second movement, we're going down to the floor for a push-up. So in that high plank position, level one, you would start on your knees. So she's gonna lower down to the push-up, Press up and then tap the shoulder right and left. Good. So down into the push up, tap and a tap. Really nice. Yeah. Notice that the hips are moving down with her. So if you want to make this a little bit harder, you're going to straighten the legs. So she comes up to that full push up position. Yeah, really nice. Good. So keeping the hips still. That's it. Lowering down. Press back up. You have 10 more seconds. Good. You're doing great. Lowering down. Exhale. Push the floor away. In three, two, one, and time. Good. Next we have a superman, so we're gonna be working the back of the body. Arms are extended overhead in that position, thumbs are up. Good, everything lifts off the floor, squeezing the glutes, then she goes into a scapula squeeze, pulling the shoulder blades together, and then lowering back down, nice. So notice the glutes are engaged to help support the back, and then everything lifts a few inches off the floor, good. Lifting up, squeeze, and then lower back down, good. So if you find that your shoulders are really tight, you can move the arms out wider, so you're in that wider V position. Yeah, really nice, good. And she's also looking down at the floor so her neck stays in alignment with the rest of her body. Give me one more, lifting up, squeeze and hold, <laughs> and down, good. Next we have a mountain climber twist. So starting in that high plank position, she's gonna take the knee across to the opposite elbow, good, hitting the plank in between. So again, this is level one, this is level one. So taking that knee across, Good, really nice. Then if you wanna make this a little bit harder, you're gonna go into level two, picking up your tempo, good. So you're working obliques here, that's it. Nice and easy, side to side, as well as getting a little bit of upper body work. You have five more seconds. Good, take it across, take it across. Three, two, one, and time, nice. We're going into our frogger next. So in that high plank position, She's gonna step one foot forward, so always starting with that level one for you. So one foot comes forward on the outside of the hand. Other leg comes forward as well. Yeah, exactly, she lifts the chest and then hits that plank position again, good. So that level one, stepping forward, stepping back. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, then you're gonna jump both of your feet, good, really nice, and then hitting that plank position again. So this one is a little more dynamic, a little more energetic, if you will, nice but do whatever one that works best for you. Give me one more and breathe, good. Next we have our side plank. So she's gonna hit that forearm side plank position. One arm is reaching up, good. So level one crossing that front foot forward, it's gonna be a little bit easier. And she's dropping the hips down and up. So notice this top hip is stacked right over the other. Core is engaged. Good, give me one more on this side and then let's switch, good. So swing it around, so it's just about 15 seconds on each side. On this side, Ninky is gonna show you level two, so notice now her feet are stacked, so it's gonna be a little more challenging, but the torso position stays the same. 
So core is engaged. She's pressing down into this bottom foot as she lifts her hips away from the floor. Good. Give me five more. Four. Good. You got it. You got it. Three, two, and one. Good. Coming up to standing. So we're going to do that reverse lunge to the knee drive. So you're going to step back. Notice she's in this nice 90 degree angle lunge. Then she's driving the knee forward and you're squeezing the core at the top. Good lunge and then squeeze. That's it. Good. It should be picture, picture. Excellent. So this is level one. Level two would be that sprinter lunge. So you're adding a little more power. Down, jump it up. Good. And still taking your time with it. I want to see two. Boom. That's it. Two pictures. That's it. Give me one more. And time, good. Other side, you do have another leg. So here we go. Dropping down into that lunge and then drive that knee forward. So notice that she's also pushing through this front heel. So you're feeling that glute of that front leg engage as she drives through the floor, good. And then if you wanna add that challenge, let's see it. Jumping up nice and high, taking your time but focusing on that explosive power coming off of the ground. Good, that's it. Strength and cardio all together. <laughs> that's it. You got three, two, one. Breathe, how are we feeling? Okay, great. Uh, we're going into our skaters. So for the skater, she's gonna step side and reach one arm across, exactly, and then other side reaching across. So that back leg can tap the floor. Notice that she jumps across and taps, jumps across and tap. Good, really nice. If you wanna take it to that level two, you're gonna jump further so imagine if you were jumping over a puddle, you're jumping as far as you can and then jumping back. So as she lands on that foot, right, the outside of her glutes have to stabilize to help her from falling over. Good. And that's it. Give me four, three, more, 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 two, one. Good. Last thing, we have our lateral burpees. So you're going to hit the burpee position, two options, right? So let's do level one first. Level one, you drop down to that plank position. She hits that squat plank position, good. Jumping in, and she's gonna do a lateral jump to the side. Dropping down, coming up, and then lateral jump again, good. So continuing on, if you wanna do the more challenging version, level two, <laughs> go for it. She hits the chest all the way to the floor, and then drops all the way down to the ground, good, that's it. We have 10 seconds, here we go. We got this. We're so close. Give me one more. All the way down. And time. Really nice work. Thank you guys for joining us. I hope you had fun. If you want to challenge, do all of this again, and then you've got a really effective 10-minute workout.